Welcome back to Jason Mark Sneaker Care 101. My name is Justin. I'm here with Joe Banks. We are sneaker care technicians, and today we'll be showing you how to clean the Nike Sakai LDV waffle. So here we have the latest collaboration with Japanese brand Sakai and Nike. Um, as you can see, it's a complete hybrid of two shoes, the LDV and the Waffle Racer. So we see that we have two midsoles, two swooshes, two logos on the back, and one of my favorites is the two tongues. One of the tongues does say Sakai on it, which I thought was really cool, and the other one has an old school Nike sportswear. I don't know, so what do you think about these, man? Uh, I think they're really cool, man. I used to wear Waffle Racers back in high school, so it kind of like brings me back to those old b-boy days. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely like these shoes. Um, if I could cop, I definitely would. You know we stay practicing the letter L over here. Yeah, thank you, sneakers app. <laughs> yeah, in terms of cleaning this shoe, I personally haven't had any experience cleaning them. But just from looking at it, um, I can tell that you'd have to be careful. Uh, Joe, what do you think? Have you cleaned these yet? Or? Actually, I've cleaned one before sitting here with this one. And I will say they do clean up fairly easy. Um, the foam midsoles, you would just probably just take the standard to it. The suede, you would definitely want to stay away from it if possible, just to prevent any bleeding and staining it, you know, down here on the lower foam with red or anything like that. Same with the back, new bug back here. It's very premium. You can tell just by looking at it how soft it is. Um, but other than that, this the mesh up here is pretty simple. We'll probably keep it with a premium. Swooshes are leather, so we don't have to worry on that. Yeah, it looks fairly easy. It's just the, only the red suede is the scary yeah. thing about it. And that's what I would recommend with everybody. Just kind of, if you don't have to wet it, then don't. But if you yeah. do, then take ultimate precaution with it. All right, so here's what we'll need to clean the Nike Sakai. The Jason Mark Premium uh, Shoe Cleaner. Our Jason Mark Premium Brush. Our Jason Mark Standard Brush. A bowl of clean water. And if you have it, the Jason Mark Premium Suede Brush. So let's get started. Now that we've prepped the shoe by removing the laces, we're gonna to wanna to remove all the loose dirt on top by using a Jason Mark Premium Suede Brush. Now to do that, you'll wanna just dry brush the uppers. Yeah, and that uh, Premium Suede Brush comes in with our Premium Suede Kit that we sell as well. If you guys don't have this brush, you could always use a dry Premium Brush, which works uh, pretty much the same way. Uh, the only difference is that this helps pick up suede after we wet it sometimes. That's why we prefer using it. So now we're gonna to wanna to move on to the midsoles. And to do that, like always, we'll need the standard brush, along with a few drops of solution. Yeah, uh, the standard brush is gonna work well on this midsole. Um, the midsole is made out of foam. So yeah, he created a, a little bit of foam on there. You can add some solution if you want, or dip it back here into the bowl. And what he's doing also is avoiding the suede as much as he can. And I like to just take a microfiber towel sometimes when you don't want to get too close to where you're going to bump the suede and just kind of use some of the leftover foam right here to kind of collect and just kind of rub it right there. And that should work just as good. Yeah, because the pressure of the microfiber towel with his fingers works is fine and he's, he's actually he's able to like pinpoint where he wants it to be at so he doesn't wet it too much. And yeah, the, the brush worked well with it. And then how it, since it's a double midsole, don't forget there's also the under part there too that you need to get as well. It's like a little well. crevice down here, kind of. Kind of want to just hit it at an angle, I guess. Kind of get in there. And that's pretty easy clean. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was going to need a lot more scrubbing, but turns out we do good jobs here. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Once again, right here on the heel cap, you're gonna to wanna to use the microfiber towel just for that extra pressure. Got a little bit of water right there. Shouldn't be too bad. It should dry up with some natural air. There's some more right here on there too. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's, a, it's an easy shoe. It's, it's nothing too much to go into it. It's just being careful with the suede. Yeah. Like we always say, use your best judgment when cleaning a shoe. That's all it is. Just because you have the Jason Mark solution and water doesn't mean you just soak up the whole shoe and it's like gonna be and while we're here, clean or oops, sorry. And while we're here on the midsole, might as well just get to it. Let's just go ahead and go over the undersole. Um, same thing, standard brush, a few drips of solution, not too much. 
Just kind of activate it again and then just kind of gently go in. Once again, reason why I say gently go in is because we don't want to be splashing around and wet the suede. If, like I said, if we could avoid it, let's do that. Now just take your towel and kind of get in between all the grooves. Being that we have a microfiber, it does pick up, you know, a lot more than a regular towel would. So this is going to be perfect in this situation. And then um, see at the bottom here, you see the little waffle um, sole indents right there. It's because I don't know if some of you guys know that they uh, base the um, sole off of a waffle iron. Wow. Waffles? Yeah, waffles. Mm. <laughs> so now that we've cleaned the midsoles with the standard brush, it looks like they turned out really good. What do you think, Justin? They look good, Joe. Good job. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to the uppers, which there's not really too much to be touched up here after we went over with the suede brush earlier. Um, but we do. it does look like the tongue could be cleaned up a bit itself. So I'm going to go ahead and use the premium brush along with a few drops of solution per usual. And uh, what he's gonna do here is be really careful just because um, right here it's lined with some red suede and you don't wanna have it bleed. That's why he's just basically aiming it towards the middle area. And what I'm gonna do is exactly what I did on the midsole down there, is I'm gonna use my leftover foam up here and just kinda just clean it precisely so I'm not throwing foam all over the place and making it bleed all over the white material. And we, we don't know if it's going to bleed or not. We're just taking that extra precaution. Exactly. Better to be safe than sorry. Now that my microfiber towel is a bit damp with some solution and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of the swooshes also while I'm here. They're very light, but I'm going to also just kind of use the dampness on here and just kind of make sure I get any leftover dirt on all the leather pieces. So. That good. Awesome, so now that we let the shoe sit outside and air dry, we threw the laces back on. And to me, looks good as new. Yeah, they look good, man. No red, no red uh, dye from the suede on the midsoles, nor on the back either. Um, we did dry brush this, so we didn't have to worry too much. Um, the midsoles look good. Came out great, yeah. Yeah, so that's how you clean the Nike Sakai LDV waffle. Thank you for watching Jason Mark's Secret Care 101. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, please let us know what shoe you guys want to see clean next. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before you click out of this video, real quick, we're going to do another giveaway. We're giving away this pair specifically. These are a size nine and a half. I'm sure a lot of you can fit that. This is probably shoe of the year wait, right here. what? No, we're doing it. It ain't about that. I ain't got to get clearance from nobody. We're doing it. We're giving it away. If you're a nine and a half, like, subscribe, comment, and you just, you get entered immediately with a chance to win these. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing it because we do stuff over here. So let's get it.